Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are in the Last Chance Saloon with the royal family and will be cut off if they leak anything from Jubilee, a royal author has claimed. The Duke, 37, and the Duchess of Sussex, 40, who are currently living in their $14 million mansion in California, flew in from the U.S. for the event last weekend, but spent little time with the royal family. Harry and Meghan did not spend any private time with Prince William, Kate, George, Charlotte and Louis during the Jubilee, while they were not permitted to bring a private photographer to the first meeting between the Queen and their daughter Lilibet. The 96-year-old is said to have met Harry and Meghan's daughter, however, they were allegedly told no chance of an official photo because it was a private family meeting. Palace insiders may have worried any photos taken by Harry and Meghan would be shared with TV networks in the US or in Harry's upcoming memoirs. Royal biographer and journalist Duncan Larkham has now said the test now begins for the royal couple, telling Closer magazine, if anything from the weekend leaked, I imagine they will be totally cut off and that LLB it. Elsewhere Duncan explained, they have come to the UK and to the Jubilee and really cemented themselves as royals again, which is great for their brand and something that Spotify, Netflix and Penguin will be eating up. He revealed how their behaviour going forward would dictate their future with the family. Saying the royal family had extended an olive branch to the couple at the Jubilee, he added, Harry and Meghan would ruin that if any private information about this weekend was spoken about to the press or revealed in a book. Duncan also said the Sussexes had visited the UK to mend fences, but ran into a brick wall with some senior royals instead. The Sussexes reportedly wanted their own photographer to capture the monarch meeting her great-granddaughter Lilibet at Windsor for the first time, but a source claimed they were told no chance because it was a private moment. The photographer has not been named, but it may be their friend Meesun Harriman, who has regularly photographed the Sussexes and even credits himself with getting them together in 2016. He also took the picture of their young daughter on the lawn at Frogmore Cottage as she turned one on Saturday. Lilibet met Her Majesty on more than one occasion and Prince Charles and Camilla also spent some time with the couple before they returned to California on Sunday, according to Harry and Meghan's friend Omid Scobie. However Harry and Meghan did not spend any private time with Prince William, Kate, George, Charlotte and Louis during the Jubilee, according to Page Six, and William's family is unlikely to have met Lilibet at all. An insider said the relationship between the brothers remains fraught after the Sussexes transatlantic truth bombs about the royal family on Oprah and friendly podcasts in the US, and it has been claimed that the Queen banned Harry and Meghan from having a photographer capture the monarch met her great-granddaughter Lilibet for the first time. Prince Harry's biographer Angela Levin told GB News Shed heard the streaming giant was desperate for the pair to secure images of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with royals like the Queen and Prince William as part of the series they are filming. Speaking to GB News, Ms. Levin said this image would have been very, very valuable, adding, they would have used it for Netflix. It would give them a kudos that they had her with her great-grandmother, you know. It comes after experts said Prince Harry must have gone home feeling very depressed for what he has given up after he and Meghan Markle decided not to be more visible in the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations because they did not have center stage seats. Vanity Fair's Katie Nicholl told True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat that the Duke and Duchess weren't at other celebrations over the Jubilee weekend because they did not have center stage seats. Meanwhile, historian Hugo Vickers added, Harry has given up being captain of the Royal Marines, who were out in force. I think he must have gone home feeling very depressed for what he has given up. Katie said, I honestly think it's because, they knew that they wouldn't be in that front row. And why did they leave the royal family? They left because they weren't in the front. I believe that's why they weren't at the other celebrations as they did not have center stage seats. Elsewhere, Duncan said the Platinum Jubilee celebrations will haunt Prince Harry for the rest of his life, as he and his family were relegated to minor roles and decided not to participate in some events. He said, those four days will haunt Prince Harry for the rest of his life. They, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, were relegated to sitting behind the Duke of Gloucester at the Thanksgiving service. They didn't take part in any way, shape or form visibly at the trooping of the colour. Harry, will be fuming about the way he and his family were treated, if it was Prince William and the royal family who said, you're not coming to the royal box, whilst other minor non-working royals were at those events.
Discussing the key images from the celebration, Katie told the program, if you're going to take one image away from the weekend, it has to be the one of the Queen and her three heirs standing on the Buckingham Palace balcony. A jubilee ISNT just a moment to reflect on the 70 years, but to look forward to the future. The Queen's message is very clear, this is the future and for the first time in history, we have four generations of royalty. It is extraordinary, also, it was deliberately engineered, if you watch the sequence of this, Camilla steps to the side, whilst Kate takes the two youngest children, and leaves the Queen with her three heirs.